Hello everyone. So today, in this uh, video, we will be looking at the balance of payments. So, talking about balance of payments, so it records the transaction in goods, services, and assets between the residents of a country with the rest of the world for a one accounting year. So, whenever the international trade takes place, the transactions are recorded in balance of payment. So. You should know that the balance of payment not only includes transaction in goods, but it also includes transaction in services and assets. By assets, I mean the foreign currency, the foreign holdings, or the investments abroad or within the country. So basically, the investments are between the residents of the country and between the residents of rest of the world. The balance of payment consists of two main accounts. One is current account and capital account. But in case of India, we have three kinds of account. Current account, capital account and official reserves account. So let us look at all of these accounts. The current account, it records exports and imports in goods, services and transfer payment. The exports and imports in good is also known as merchandise trade or trade in visible items. Whereas the export imports of services like the telemedicine services etc is recorded as trade in invisible items. So when trade in goods takes place it is known as trade in visible items and when services come it is known as trade in invisible items. All of them when they are merged together we get current account. It also includes transfer payments. Transfer payments are like unilateral payments which are made. Uh, for instance, you have gifts, remittances which one receives or which one pays remittances, then gifts, uh, donations, aid, etc. all comes under transfer payments. So all of them when added together we get current account. Then we have capital account. The capital account records all the transaction pertaining to international purchase and sale of assets. Assets implies stocks, bonds, money, property, etc. So it tells us about the foreign investments and loans. So all of these are included in the capital account. So when transaction takes place, especially with respect to capital, like money, stock, bonds, investment and loan, it is recorded in capital account. The capital account tells us about the country's assets in the foreign market and the resident of the rest of the world so their share in the domestic country's asset so it tells us about the country's investment abroad third is official reserves account it is part of capital account only but we record it under a separate column and it actually includes the gold stock of the country, the holding of convertible foreign currencies and the SDR. The SDRs are issued by the IMF and the net position in the International Monetary Fund. So the official International Reserves account tells us about the foreign currency and the securities held by the government. Usually it is the central bank of the country and it is used to balance the payments from year to year. Then we have errors and omissions. The errors and omission is a balancing out, out item. Now this errors and omission is required because in the balance of payment double entry bookkeeping is followed. So what happens in double entry bookkeeping? You have to record each transaction twice, one in credit column and other in debit column. So errors, errors and omissions actually balance the transaction. So under errors and omission, a balancing item, it's a balancing item so that total credits and debits of the three accounts, current account, capital account and international reserve account must equal in accordance with the principle of double entry bookkeeping. So in the accounting sense, the balance of payment is equal but actually it is not because we usually see there is either surplus or either there is deficit. For instance in case of India the balance of payment is in deficit because we import more than we export. 
and because of double entry bookkeeping errors and omissions are added for instance i'll explain this with an with the help of an example so let us take an example of a purchase of treasury bills in this uh, example you can see that a foreigner is purchasing a us treasury bill of 300 dollar when the purchase takes place the money flows into the us economy because treasury bond of us is purchased so that will be a credit because that will be financial inflow but this treasury bills if it is sold at a later date say after 4 months if the person is selling the treasury bill then there will be found financial outflow that will be accounted in debit because there will be reduction in foreign bank balance in the us because earlier treasury bill was purchased so money went in us when it was sold when it was sold the money went went came back to the investor so this is how credit and debit transactions are recorded this is a typical account of a balance of payment you can see on the left hand side you have credit and on the right you have debit under the current account you have exports of exports and imports of goods services unilateral receipts unilateral payments interest profits dividend received and the same paid and in the capital account balance you have foreign investments short term borrowing medium and long term borrowing then you have invest investments abroad short term lending medium and long term lending so the loan which the government takes and the loan the government gives to other countries and the institutions and it also includes errors and omissions as discussed then we have official reserves account which is on the number 9 where we have change in reserves and change in reserves on the credit and debit sides accounting for all of these we get the bop and so because of the change in reserves and the errors and omissions what what we get is the balance of pay, balance of payment is actually balanced in the accounting sense but actually it is not so let us look at the difference between balance of trade and balance of payments the basic difference between both of them is what items does both of them includes with when we talk about balance of trade then it only includes trade in goods whereas balance of payment includes goods services and transfer payment so one can say that balance of trade include trade in tangible item or trade in goods or trade in visible items whereas balance of payments not only take in account the intangible item but it also takes into account the visible items intangible items services which are the intangible items or invisible goods and the transfer payments now let us look at the autonomous transaction and the accommodating transaction one thing you should know is that the deficit or surplus in the balance of payment is caused by the autonomous transactions these transactions are are taking place so they usually take place because there is a motive associated with this transaction the economic motive associated with the autonomous transaction is like earning income or profit maximization etc these motives leads to surplus or deficit in the bop account of a country and they are referred as above the line items in balance of payment the accommodating transactions are also known as below the line items in balance of payment because these transaction takes place so that the deficit which is created by the autonomous transaction can be covered so these transactions are usually carried by the government like deficit financing or when they borrow money from the market so that they can meet their needs now let us uh, practice so here question is which of the following factor forms the invisible account of the balance of payment of a country we are talking about invisible account so here international trade and service in income associated with non resident assets and liabilities remittances of worker income here all of them will be correct because all of them are invisible items question second which of the following is part of capital account of a country if you remember i have shown you a photo where we have seen current account and capital account and you can easily recall what comes under capital account 
बिकॉज एन आर आई डिपॉजिट विल कम अंडर दैपिटल अकाउंट ये करेक्ट इज एन आर आई डिपॉजिट बिकॉज द एन आर आई डिपॉजिट विल बी इन एसेट द पर्सन हु हैज डिपॉजिटेड द मनी इन इंडिया अंडर द एन आर आई डिपॉजिट सो द डिपॉजिट विल बी दसेट फॉर दैट पर्सन एंड फॉर इंडिया इट इज अ लाइबिलिटी बिकॉज इंडिया हैज टू पे बैक दिस वेर इज एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट ऑफ गुड्स सर्विसेज एंड यूनिलेटर ट्रांसफर्स दे ऑल फॉर्म पार्ट ऑफ करेंट अकाउंट